Look at this. So pretty. Que bello. Guarda. In my favorite garden center. They're so kind. They sell sold me um, a pot with lilies. They don't sell them, but I, I was begging because I couldn't find any in the gardening center. Look how beautiful they are, just so pretty, they're perfect. And actually this is the size of fake I would love to have, but maybe in future, in future. <laughs> and I will go and see, maybe I can find something else. Of course I can find something else. <laughs> I'm in heaven, I'm truly in heaven, look at that. And I found the thyme, that smells amazing. Oh, this is my happy time. Oh, I got more lavender to fill my new terrace. Uh, thyme, my favorite thing. And well, I will show you later what I've got here very excited about this yellow thing one more tree for the little garden or maybe for the port or maybe port it in little garden i have few ideas for that one oh, now i will be carrying all these down into the garden and then i can play a little bit show you around and then i will be back to my boring jobs and to be honest the plastering thing is just it's it takes my soul out of me just working in this gray room with cement and nothing but gray cement ah, only the thought of a beautiful kitchen makes me keep going and flowers of course <laughs> so i will recharge my soul now with happiness um playing in the garden and then i'm back into the kitchen i will start in the indoor kitchen now and then if i have some time left i can play <laughs> in the summer kitchen so yeah but first i need to recharge my batteries just just look at that and thank you thank you so much everyone who bought me flowers on buy me a coffee page yeah this is it you made me so happy and um i wanted to show you the lake it is so beautiful the sun is coming it's been gray and raining all those days which is good for the garden and for the lake because the level of the lake was so so low during the last year uh, the whole last year it was a um, really dangerous level of the lake so low it's never been like that but now it's it's all it's not really full but it's almost good level and look at that we have little sailing boards there it must be some kind of competition or school maybe can you see that so beautiful i have to bring those pots from that balcony because my geraniums will be going in those oh i'm so happy to be at oro and to have all the blonde okay first carrying everything down and then i can play Just look what I have spotted and I must admit this is such a pleasing thing for me. Look, look at this. Really nice and fluffy spider caught a mosquito, a huge mosquito. Well, I'm so happy to see that because that means my garden is healthy and look at that. Okay, I think he has done his thing. <laughs> he finished the mosquito. And then I have tiny little bee there, like wild something. I don't know, it's not a bee, but some kind of cute insect. And look at this spider. He's so gorgeous. 
Good boy. Good boy keeping my garden mosquito free. Oh, okay. He just pooped. <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> oh. Okay, my beer experiment is not bad at all. We caught one slug here and he's dead. He's at the bottom of the pot. He probably um, got really drunk and drowned it. That's how it works. Very happy death. And the other, I got one snail. That one goes, oh, another dead slug here in this little jar. Wow, I love it. I love it. I get slugs drunk and make them die. <laughs> <laughs> that's it's it that sounds kind of nice <laughs> not that bad <laughs> oh, hopefully my dahlias will be growing happy now here is a special moment very important moment at our villa and the garden of course this is the water lily beautiful beautiful oh, they call it here nympha what a beautiful name, look at that. I've never seen shape like this, so elegant. And the thing is that I was in different um, gardening centers and they don't have aquatic plants. So I remember that at my, at, in Varena, at my lovely little nursery center, oh, poor thing, it needs water straight away. Um, they have little pond and I remember that they have lily, water lilies so <laughs> I went this morning I was rushing there and I begged them to sell me uh, something little little baby so they did and that's amazing look at that so now this one goes into our little pond So it has to drown. Oh, go. Oh no, I have to put, I think I have to place a um, rock because that's what they had in their pond. They keep a little rock on the top of the pot. So let's find one. The suitable rock, not big, not small. Um, I need this one. This is really... Oh, I think I can get one from there. Oh, my pond is so pretty. And while I'm looking for a little rock, I will tell you what the, the, the guy in the nursery center told me. He told no one really cultivates here in the area um, aquatic plants and water lilies. And these are really hard to find to buy if you need one. So, yeah, I think I need to start cultivating water lilies. I think it's a really good thing to do. <laughs> I will start with this pond and then I can make another one maybe. And the rock, I think this rock will be really nice for the pond. And I think every person I meet, I ask if they know where to get the uh, tadpoles, the, the baby frogs. <laughs> or the frogs so people think I'm a mad woman but what can we do nothing really only we can the only thing we can do is to find the frogs and here we go yay oh no oh no <laughs> that wasn't successful now I have to put my arm into the pond eh? Oh, isn't that pretty? Isn't that just perfect? <laughs> oh, now this is my happy place. I need to place one little chair here so I can sit down and stare on my pond. <laughs> and the water lilies, because um, in the gardening center, their pond is uh, shallow. So let's now see how long it's going to take them to reach the surface and, and how fast they will grow. I really hope they will be happy here in this pond and we can start having wildlife here. Oh, this is beautiful. So pretty.
And now I will plant uh, lavender here by the edge. And da -da -da -da. also we will be filling this bed because it's a little bit poor. And this lavender is blooming now. It's time. Soon it will be time to weed the bed. We have um, weeds coming here. But this is my favorite thing to do. Just play in the garden, weeding, taking care of my plants, little pond. Oh, hopefully soon enough we will get chickens. But for the kitchen, for the chickens, first we need to build a little house because we can't get chickens without house. So that's kind of um, yeah, future project. And here I have, maybe for many people this is not really exciting, but for me it is. This is Mexican daisy, which I think is absolutely beautiful. And some people treat it as a weed, uh, which it kind of is, but I think it's the prettiest weed on the entire planet. And it blooms all summer long and it gets into little cracks in the walls and and it blooms all time and when the blooms are getting old oh well actually i'm not sure yeah when they start i think when they start they're a little bit pinkish color like that and as they fade they turn white but isn't that beautiful and look at that look at that <laughs> And I can see walls like this one, like our walls here, like covered in those daisies and bees and insects, they love them. Um, so my um, idea now is to divide this one at least in two parts because I can't really see it's one clump, which I will try to cut in two um and plant one in on this wall and the other one on another wall and the hope in hope they will seed themselves everywhere and spread but the thing is it's just one clump so it might be wrong when i cut it in half it might be fine so you never know until you try it and you see what happens so little thing little daisy mexican daisy we can speak spanish with you <laughs> i hope you will be really happy in our garden okay let's try and divide it i'm really those few times i tried to divide things and when i cut through i'm doing it really carefully careful i'm being really careful but then at the end one half has root another half has no root so it's just useless piece of plant uh, but some of those actually they rooted i still planted them and they rooted so let's hope this one will be fine i will make a gentle well not gentle to be honest like really good cut through the middle of the plant okay help me god please okay oh it's fine i think it is fine i think it is fine yes it's fine oh i love it love it love it love it okay this part has enough root to stabilize and the other one as well good brilliant I 
thought it's only one, but it's the whole family. Look at the other one here. Oh, and you can definitely tell they're really enjoying it here. Oh, look at this idyllic picture. Oh, a couple of beautiful lizards surrounded by flowers and sounds of fresh stream living in the dry rock wall. Look at that. I will leave them alone. I had a little rest and a little snack. And I think it's time to go inside and do some good work in the kitchen. But first I wanted to show you a really fun plant I got. They gave me for free. Actually, they, they just gave me this little thing as a little gift. <laughs> look at that yellow thing. Just look how pretty it is. And I've never had one before like that. Um, he told me it's like a um, paper flower. And it does feel like it's, ma it's made of paper. Can you hear? But how nature can create something beautiful like that and something funny like that. It is so beautiful. And um, it's supposed to keep blooming during whole summer if I dead had. And I think this will be beautiful in my um, decorations and uh, front door wreath. I'm so happy with it. Look, it is truly like paper made. So pretty and so much fun. Okay, enough playing. The garden looks lovely. All the roses are ready to bloom any day soon. Uh, but the first one will be, I think, the, uh, our Eden Rose, which is here. Can you see all those flower, flower buds? So beautiful. I can't wait to see the first open bloom. I think maybe on the weekend we can start seeing them opening. And here I planted another lavender and all looking really, all is looking really, really good beautiful really happy today with all my things in the garden and uh, i will be going inside i was burying my head because it was quite sunny the weather is a little bit funny now but the head is off and inside i have already started plastering the kitchen and I started it um, with my patrons on Tuesday video and it is looking so good just look at that look at that can you see it from here that wall how nice it is look at that look at this <laughs> oh I love seeing it like that. That makes a huge difference. See this and that. Yeah, that's so much better. And uh, last time I made one bucket, 25 kilos of mix, and I spent it on um, below the window, all that area and here and all that area. And that was really hard. I spent all day. I was exhausted. And um, in this room, the walls are much better. So I spent less mixture. So one bag makes it more than it was in little bedroom. So I decided I think I will mix half of the bag now at once. And then if I have energy, I will mix another half. Because just one bag is too much. <laughs> I was almost crying last time and the mixture was never ending thing. So today I'm smarter than I was 
the day before. <laughs> Uh, and I will be mixing half of the bag and hopefully um, I will do this part and reaching the fireplace. Still have to fix this hole because last time I had to leave it like that so it's set, it dries out and then I can fill the smaller hole here. But if I reach with my half of the bag till this hole, half of the fireplace, that will be amazing and it will make a huge difference in this room. I think it's good enough. It is good enough. <laughs> this is what happens when you're lazy like me and you don't clean your tools after after you finish the job. But, I mean, there is always a solution. <laughs> The preparation job takes me always a lot and this is the most energy and time consuming part of almost any project and I don't like it. I like just doing the project. Oh gosh, I'm tired now. I need another rest before even starting the project. Look at that. So be prepared to see it totally transformed. I love it. It looks like nice studio. It's beautiful. Okay, have to start now. Oh, please, someone help me. Oh. Okay, I think it's good. Maybe like that, a little bit like that. I think that's much better. What do we do to make it stay like that? Mm, no, not good enough. A little maybe hammer. I think the hammer. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, actually, the hammer works even better than any tri tripod or selfie stick or whatever. Good. Good, good, good. You just did it.
Ta -da! Isn't that cool? I can't believe it. I can't believe it. <laughs> okay, let's look until here. Oh, it's beautiful. It is so much better. But now it feels like it's always been like that. This is a horrible thing that always happens to me. Once the project is um, one step forward, it seems to me like it's always been like that and we haven't done anything. Oh, I love it. Actually, I have enough energy for another half of the bag. Here it is. But see, this is what I've done with one half. And that means if I mix another one, I have to prepare a um, new space uh, to use the whole mix. Uh, also have to finish this corner. So this is actually a good thing. If I mix another half of the bag, I finish that. And then I can go until here and fix the hole and yeah, plaster over the fireplace. And then actually what I can do, I can start here from that corner slowly going there because nothing gonna be on that wall i will leave this one untouched and then later i can work from here to there so yeah actually i think this wall can be started so i will i will start um i will now uh wash the dirt of the wall and uh, flake all the old paint from here and from other places and maybe with half of the bucket the whole thing can be done i'm not sure but we can try we can try Um, it's six o'clock now and my thought is do I mix another half of the bag and I stay here two more hours which Sergi will, which Sergi will hate because he wants me to be home early or I mix another half so I go home early Oh, I stay here, I don't listen to Sergi, and I do this wall. What would you do? Hmm? What would I do? You know me. Now you know me. <laughs> um, I think another bag, another mix. I think another bucket it is. It looks like this is what's going to happen. <laughs> really good I've done all that part and all this and around the door and this is just it's beautiful I love it and it is really late it is dark outside I think it's around nine o'clock now yes It is nine o'clock, <laughs> so I will be packing my things and getting back home. The garden looks beautiful. I wanted just before I'm going home, I wanted to check my nymphas. What a beautiful name! No, I just can't think about better name for for water lilies. And they reached, they have reached the surface of the water. I can't believe. Just this morning they were just touching the surface and now look at that, three of them are laying beautifully on the water and it's raining now. Now we urgently need hackles or salamanders or, well, I prefer actually frogs because they just sing so beautifully. Oh, the garden looks happy. 
I will check the slugs now, pack my things and go back home. This is so bad. I I just killed maybe 20 huge slugs and like seven of them we are on my lupin. Huge ones. And look at that one. Look at this one. Look. Oh why? I don't understand. So my beer thing doesn't really work well because only two of four, I think four were caught during last night. So I think I have to go every evening around all the plants and just pick them. Oh, it's horrible. My poor hostess, this one will, was eaten, the whole thing. Oh my God, oh, can you see this one? Okay, let's play a game. Can you spot the slug? And like that, can you spot it? It's beautiful, it's gorgeous. I've never seen a slug like that with like, little dots and it's like half of the meat alone it's like a snake but excuse me i have to get rid of them oh it's huge this is so bad i'm getting up here and look at that they are they are everywhere and there as well oh it's a nightmare Oh. oh, this is so bad. We need urgently chickens and a little duck because look at that. It's all eaten and they're just jumping around there in between my plants. Look at this one. Look then at uh, this one. I killed this one. There is a little snail here and here another baby one which has eaten a huge hole in my plant. <gasps> I need chickens. I'm buying chickens next week. I don't know where they're gonna live. They're gonna live in the house, in my little bedroom. But I mean, I mean, oh, ooh. Okay, another one. Can you spot the slug? I bet you do. And then another one in a second. Somewhere. Oh, I lost him. Oh, here it is. Can you spot the slug? Can you spot him? Here it is. Okay, let's see how this beer jar, jar of beer works. So far, I can see one slug here, one snail here, then a few a snail here, another slug there that is coming from my beautiful salvia plant that they love, and another one here next to the jar, and uh, yeah. Well, I don't know. It doesn't seem like the jar really works because they're just everywhere. Just everywhere. And I had no idea it's so many of them here. Well, this is so bad. Oh, this is so bad. Look at that. This morning I thought, well, that plant looks really sad. And now I know why. Look at this. Oh, it is horrible. Look at that. Oh, it's just... Oh. Oh, I have geese bumps. Oh, they're everywhere in between the rocks and... Oh, gosh, I'm so bad. Oh, and this plant as well. I... I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I don't know what to do. <laughs> it is a nightmare. This is a nightmare. They're everywhere. There, here. And here, and then here as well. Can you see those horrible things? Oh. 